Hi everyone and welcome back to the virtual classroom where we look, listen and learn together. I have some leaves, two types of leaves. Mm, they rustle. They're not green leaves. Oh, one just fell off. Do you know what time of year leaves fall off the trees? That's right, it's autumn. These are scarlet maple leaves. These are from a pomegranate tree. They're different leaves. I thought maybe we could draw them. Maybe we could paint them. I might start with these beautiful scarlet maple. I have my paints here. Lots of different colours. I don't think I'll be painting with the green today. That's right, I think I'll be painting with this palette of colours down this end where they're a bit yellow, orange, red, even some purple. Let's have a look at the shape of these leaves. Hmm, they're sort of spiky, aren't they? I might try and draw these leaves. There are quite a few on this branch. I might just start with one today. Put it on my page here. Hmm. Beautiful. I've got my pen. Hold it at the end here so you can see it and it sort of goes up and then it goes up again and down like that and it has a stem there so it can connect to the branch up there and the middle. Mm -hmm. These send all the nutrients to the leaves. But at this time of the year, leaves fall off because the tree needs to preserve its energy, it needs to save its energy. Might draw another little one. They're a bit sort of spiky, aren't they? There we are. And there's the stick, the branch, connecting it to the tree. These ones fell off. They fell off the tree because it's autumn. Might do one more. Just a little one. There we go. Beautiful little leaf there, leaf there. Now, what colour do you think I should paint these leaves? Hmm, they are sort of like a purpley red colour, aren't they? Sort of like a maroon colour. I might choose that colour. And you can mix some colours together with your brush. Dab, dab, dab. Being very careful when you paint. Make sure it doesn't drip too much. And I'm not just going to colour it in all together straight away. I'm going to sort of mix some of the colours as I go. Let it dry a bit. And you can probably draw your outline with a pencil because sometimes the texture tends to smudge a bit. So I'm being very careful not to smudge the pencil, the pen here. But sometimes you might like that. Sort of looks quite good too. These autumn leaves. I'm sort of dabbing, dabbing the brush. You can see how I'm dabbing the brush very carefully. Dab, 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 dab. Right up into the corners. Fill the whole leaf space in there. This is like an autumn painting, isn't it? There's a little bit of a pink colour coming through there. See that pinky colour? There we go. We've nearly finished this big one. And you can see that they're not all the same colour, are they? Because they're changing colour and that, that change happens at different times and it takes takes different amount of time too. 
Okay. Dab, dab, dab. This one's a bit more purple, maybe. A bit more of a purple colour for this leaf here. There we go. Or a pinky colour coming through. Hmm. Imagine if you found these leaves on the ground as you walked along. There's some autumn leaves, or my painted autumn, autumn painting of the leaves. I looked closely and had a look at the shapes. Maybe you can give that a try as well. Get some paints out, or even some dye. And find a piece, nice piece of paper to do your drawing on. Take your time though, it's a slow drawing, this drawing, to be very careful. I hope you enjoy some painting time today. I'll see you next time. Bye.